Now, sure enough, I look to my right and here comes a big pig body deer. Clearly, he's one that I need to take out. So I'm looking at a deer right now, he's mature. He is the exact definition of a management deer. He's a little scraggly. He should be much bigger antler-wise than he is. There is no decision-making process here. This buck, he's gotta go. I take my time, get the rifle on him, get the camera on him. Now this guy must catch wind of something because he starts heading out of the field. But I'll be dang if I'm gonna let him get out of here alive. <laughs> Boom, we got a nice buck down. That is not the biggest deer I've ever shot, okay? But that doesn't matter because that was the right deer to shoot. All right, everybody, check this guy out. Now, some of you might be saying, you know, that ain't quite a monster buck. Well, you'd be right, but this was the right deer to take. He's got a big old body on him, really big body. He's probably at least four years old and his antlers just aren't doing much. He's kind of trying to be a 10 point here, but they're kind of scraggly, and this is the best he's ever gonna be. And I'll tell you what, look what that Sierra Game Changer did to him. He was a little quartered away, and this is the exit, and it just went right through him perfectly. Um, he was pretty much dead to rights when he walked in with that setup, that co-fager and that proof. That is a huge help to my self-filming. And so is the tank blind. I mean, having that big 36 inch window, I mean, it's just like a night and day difference to any other blind. So that was awesome. And the important thing is, is it doesn't matter if it's a monster buck or a turkey or a management buck. My heart gets going the same way every single time. 